Howdy everyone, this is Hank American Engine and welcome to the Bachman Oliver and Toad Review. This review is brought to you by Trainsetsonly.com, RJ's Trainstop.com, RJ's Trainstop.com. Model railroading is serious fun. TheFavoritespot.com and TotallyThomastown.com TotallyThomastown.com is a second-hand resale site and shop in Canada for Thomas & Friends merchandise, ranging from Wooden Railway, Take Along Slash Take and Play, and Trackmaster to some of the newest and latest products. Use the following code to earn 10% off your next online purchase before tax and shipping are applied. So, we were promised an HO scale Oliver and Toad back in 2015, and Toad was released on February 8th in 2016. Oliver finally came to the fans earlier this year on March 9th, 2017. Now both of them are available for fans of all ages to buy. Usually, I'm the guy who reviews the Tomy slash Trackmaster items, but I couldn't pass up on an HO scale Oliver and Toad from Bachman Trains. Bachman does a fantastic job with creating accurate television series renders of the Thomas & Friends engines and rolling stock in HO slash OO scale, and makes them popular for model railroaders who want to stay connected to their childhood. Review me! Not now, Scruffy. Both Oliver and Toad are based on their current CGI renders from the television series. Starting off with Toad the Brake Van, I don't have a single complaint about him. His markings are crisply applied and are also in the correct font as well. Bachman has even painted his buffers a bright metallic gray to try and replicate it from his CGI counterpart. His handbrake is clearly visible in his covered cab, and I don't have much to complain about him. One thing about Toad that has puzzled the fans is his unusually small hook and loop couplings. This is due to the length of his buffer frame, which really restricts the usually gaping size of the standard hook and loop couplings for the Bachman HO scale Thomas and Friends line. These smaller types of hook and loop couplings are also common on Bachman's branch line OO scale model railroad line. Twitter user Bass T Bone Music has this to say about our gentlemanly brake fan. I think Toad is a good model. Not really a fan of the mold lines seeing as you can buy a more updated version of the Toad brake van for less than the retail price. Despite this, the detailing is good due to the model being a mainline model from Bachman's early era. The model has only one serious error, and that is the decals are only on one side. Other than the glaring issues over his rather shrunken hook and loop couplings and one-sided decals, Toad looks rather smart and ready to help any engine keep rowdy trucks in line. Review me! No, Scruffy, I will not review you. Review me! No! Anyways, moving on to the major point of this review, it's Bachman's HO Scale Oliver. To quote Sam the Train Fan's tweet, Bachman Oliver is surprisingly a lot better than his... <sighs> ...render. Sam, I couldn't have put it better myself. Oliver looks remarkable. I remember when he finally came in that I tore the box open in a frenzy just to see him for myself. I couldn't believe how wonderful and handsome he looked in the box, but he looks so much better outside of it. Post-production Hank American Engine, if you please. What did I tell you? He looks so much better outside of his box than in it. Come on, review me! No. I don't think that Oliver was the worst way to transition into the HO scale line following my constant collecting of Tomy Trackmaster engines and rolling stock. He's easily a perfect way to introduce someone into the Bachman Thomas & Friends HO OO scale range. Oliver is a spinning image of a CGI render and just happens to look a lot better than what we see on the screen nowadays. It really is a breath of fresh air to finally see him made by Bachman but I know for sure that I am not alone in wishing that they would have manufactured him predating his return to the series, so we would have had a more accurate representation of the Great Western 14 X. Otherwise, I can't help but sing praise to Bachman for such a wonderful and handsomely breathtaking model. One thing that made many long for him was his two new lanterns that were molded just for him. His headlamp and tail lamp are both newly molded pieces, so many fans, myself included, are possibly aiming to order several when parts for him are finally available. 
I know some people might have gripes about his appearance, such as his appearance being chosen to follow his current render rather than his accurate model series counterpart, but Bachman never fails to deliver a brilliantly constructed model. I don't think I can really say anything genuinely bad about this model. Something I've noticed about Oliver is that he's a bit of a poor performer in regards to pulling rolling stock. This is shown with the four coal wagons with load that I have. The weights have been removed from them, and he sometimes struggles to pull a train at all. This is due to his unusually light weight as a locomotive, and that will affect performance on your layout even if you have it set up to run the Thomas & Friends HOOO scale line. Again, I'll digress as to why that is, as I will address this in another video. You look like Scruffy, you feel like Scruffy, you're Scruffy! <clears throat> Anyways, if you've grown up with the Railway Series or Model Series, Oliver and Toad are a must-have, even for any collector of the HO Scale Thomas & Friends line. I don't honestly have any complaints about either of them, and I'm beyond delighted to see that Bachman Trains has stood by the fans in the accurate depiction of this iconic duo from the show. Oliver's retail price is $115, and Toad's retail price is $37. If you search around online, you can find them for cheaper prices than the manufacturer's suggested retail price. I paid $23.98 for Toad and $79.77 for Oliver online. Both cost me a grand total of $103.75, which is still cheaper than paying for Oliver by himself. Out of 5 stars, Oliver and Toad both receive 11 stars. I just have to recommend them and tell you that you should invest in these two if you like them as characters. Even if you don't, it's nice to have them running around your layout with a goods train, or even sitting idle waiting for their next assignment or for the signal. Tell me what you think about Bachman, Oliver, and Toad. If you liked this video, please click that like button to let me know. And if you want to see more videos like this, please click that subscribe button for more content like this in the future. Thank you for watching this review, I'm Hank American Engine, and I'll see you in the next video.